War. War never changes. You pop into existence on this new plane and immediately can feel it's not one of the nice ones. You can feel your skin prick as radiation sets in around you. You'd be mistaken for thinking this was Ikoria, as huge flies and a two-headed cow look at you warily. Out of nowhere, bullets and curses come flying past you as you duck for cover behind a rusted out metal vehicle. One thing is for sure, is this is going to be an interesting adventure today on Ultimate Commander. Hello there, I'm Carlos and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. Today I have our next installment of Ultimate Commander, Fallout Edition. Ultimate Commander is where you take your commander deck, as well as a lot of the variants that Magic has created over the years, such as Vanguard, Backgrounds, Theros Hero Cards, and Conspiracies, all with a Plane Chase deck, and see what ensues. If you'd like to know the full rule breakdown, check out some of our past episodes or our website, kingdoms.tv. With that, let's find out what everyone's playing today. Hi everybody, my name is John. I'm playing Dogmeat, Ever Loyal. This is a Naya-based uh, enchantment theme, it seems. I actually have never played any of these decks before, so it honestly is gonna be top decking all the way. My character is Siddhar Kondo. It gives me, uh, based on our rules, 24 extra life and then minus one maximum hand size, so I have to maintain six cards. I also have the Avenger and Natural Unity. My commander is Caesar, Legion's Emperor. Like John, I haven't looked at anything in this set, so I will be top decking a lot. Hi everyone, it's Jordan, it's been a while. Good to be back. I have Urza as my ultimate commander, so I get plus 20 life. The hero card is Cloak of the Philosopher, and my conspiracy is Assemble the Rank and Vile. So, very good aggro deck, I'm looking forward to it. Hi, I'm Jay. My commander is Dr. Madison Lee, who has uh, four abilities on her. And my hero is Hannah. She makes all my spells cost one colorless le uh, less to play. I have an increased starting maximum and uh, increased starting hand size and maximum hand size of eight. The detraction to Hannah is that I start with 10 less total life. So I do start the game at 30. My hero card is the Tyrant. And then my conspiracy is uh, immediate action. This deck is basically all artifacts. It is the science deck and it is broken. I am Jason and I am the wise moth man. I'm super excited to play this because my I'm terrified of moths. So let's be honest, they're evil, <laughs> but it'll be fun. I get a mill and do shenanigans. My Vanguard is Rofellos, who it, you're not maybe used to playing commander because he's banned, right? But uh, I get minus two starting hand size and uh, starting cards, you know what I'm saying. And my starting life is plus four indicated on here, but we're doubling that, so plus eight. The Vanquisher is my hero which my starting hand card is increased by one, and maximum hand size is also increased by one, so I'm only at a six card disadvantage, so to speak. And my conspiracy is hold the perimeter. It'll be a lot of fun. Okay, pick your poisons. I rolled six. Yeah, I we're rolling a 10. Six, nine. I mean, you gotta reroll. I rolled a 10. So I gotta go you first, right? Six. Really Actually, no, I'll do, I'll do so. Right. What, what am I saying? Okay, so we also need to determine who has Monarch and who has the initiative. First okay. person to ro roll a Kingdom's dice. Oh, or, uh, got it, I rolled a Kingdom's dice. <laughs> so yeah, you get the initiative. We'll roll for Monarch though. Yeah, go ahead, you guys roll. I'm going first with Monarch. With Monarch. And I'm going last, but I have the initiative. Correct? Yeah. Our first plane is Onak Catacomb? Onake. Onake. All creatures are black and have death touch. And when you roll the planar die, if you get chaos, creatures you can control get plus one plus O oh, and gain first strike until end of turn. All right, turn one. I will move to upkeep and I get the goblin that can't block. I will draw Terramorphic Expanse. Pass. All right. Great. Draw. <laughs> Beginning my upkeep because I'm a good magic player. I'll get one gobo who can't block. And then I will play a swamp for turn and I will go ahead and roll the planar die for free. Nothing, I'll pay one. Nothing, pass. I'll tap up, keep drop. Do you drop for being the monarch? Yeah. I did not. Let's do sticky fingers, goes in the graveyard. Island. Just roll and move on. Untap, uh, under city. Yep. We'll get a little forest. I'll respond and sacrifice Terramorphic Expanse to get a basic land tapped. I also would like a forest. Draw for turn. I get my one, two soldier defender. 
path of ancestry. Nope. I'll pass. If you guys attack me, we will trade. <laughs> I will untap. You I'm checking for triggers. Yeah, no, <laughs> no I, have, I actually have to discard. Sorry. Discard a swamp. Draw scattered groves. That comes in tapped. I will pay one for Pip Boy. 3,000. <gasps> And every equipped creature attacks, choose one. I can draw a card, discard a card. I can put a 1-1 counter on that creature. I can untap up to two target lands. Combat, I'll attack Jay for one. Can't block. Okay, uh, Monarch Trigger, I'll draw, pass. All right, untap, draw. I will play a Plains for turn. And I'd like to get the Monarchy, so I will attack you pass. for one. Yay. The crown. I will play a Impasse Orator. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, I gain one life. It is a 2-2. And then I will draw a card for being the mon- Actually, I'm going to roll. Definitely should have rolled before <coughs> I did anything, but hey. nothing happened. Pass the dice to you. That's when I'll say, oh, I'm ending the turn. And I'll draw for being the Monarch. We'll play <laughs> Skybound Expanse. Tap, tap, create a blue and a white. We'll cast Intelligence Bobblehead. And then we will tap it and automated assembly line. He has yeah. the crown. I do have the crown, but I have a blocker. I have a 2-2 blocker. You have Death Touch. He has he Death has Touch, death too. Why did, oh, because all creatures have Death and Touch. All, and they're black. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can have the Monarch. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't we attack you? Because he blocker. can block it. Yeah, but it would die. I draw a card. Oh, chaos. Woo! To get yeah. first strike. Creature you control got one own first strike, but he did it after combat, yeah. so it's all right. And then draw for card. Pass turn. Okay, I'm going to untap and Just scry two. You guys are and then I'll put that bottom because it's scryed. And then draw for turn. Let's play the most exotic of orchards. Spin for the plane. Chaos. Ooh. Sweet. I get first strike on my defender. <laughs> all right. And then. And death touch. It's mm -hmm. got double death touch. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First strike and death touch, yeah. It gives it, it already had death touch. Oh. But yeah, it's a 2-2. Two -two, yeah. Yep. Yes. Oh. All right. And we're moving. We're moving Creatures to with defender can attack. New New York. <laughs> At the beginning of combat on your turn, until end of turn, non-creature artifacts you control become 3-3 three, three vehicles in addition to their other types. Gain flying, haste, and crew one. What if you roll the crew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Whatever chaos wow. ensues, create a treasure token and a 2-2 white alien creature token. Oh, gosh. Hey, that changes what I'm going to do on my turn. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. I Ooh. can't. I, this is turn two, so I don't have more mana. I can't even Three. block. <laughs> <laughs> I'll untap. Uh, I don't have any spiels, so I'll draw. Let's do Sun Scorched Divide. Okay, well, just don't attack me. Go ahead. I'm going to move to combat. Turn, right? Woohoo! Okay. This can be, this is a 3-3 vehicle, and I'm going to crew it, and then I'm going to fly Jason for three. Why, Jason? What, you, want, you want the monarch? I want the Undercity. Uno, dos, trace. So I will search my library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it in my hand. It's gonna be a mountain. Okay, I will pay one to feed the scun, sun scorched divide for red and white. I will cast a basilisk collar. Oh, that's dog meat collar. I'll also cast explorer's scope. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. I will cast my equipment for free out of the command zone. Cloak of the Philosopher. I would like to go to combat, and I will Ooh. have my guy become a vehicle with It's a tray tray flyer. And everything. I'll crew with my no block gobbo. And then I will attack you to get the Undercity, and I will attack you to get the Monarch Jay. Good. No blocks on his, no blocks on mine. Ooh. I will take three. And we gotta go search for a mountain. I will I play like mountain for the turn. <laughs> And then I think I'm going to play Craig Boone, Novik Guard. It has is a 3-3 three, three with Reach and Lifelink, and one for my baby. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, put two quest counters on Craig. When you do, Craig deals damage equal to the number of quest counters on it up to one target creature, unless that creature's controller has Craig deal that that much damage to them. Would you like to roll for... And, but he I has, would. He has lifelink? He does. And he deals the damage? Yes. Okay, that's... So, I, yeah, I gain, I gain the life. I'm happy he doesn't have death touch. And then when he ETBs, <laughs> I gain a life because of this. Yep. So back up to 60. And then roll. Nothing happens. Nothing. Yep. I'll pass and draw for being the monarch. Cards. I'm going to discard Captain Goblin of the Watch. Cards. Untap. <sighs> Alicia Keys. <laughs> Silver Falls. He's oh, good. okay. Oh. Cultist. Cultist is free. No, it costs one. one. So then we do 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 cast her. Hidden agenda. She has haste. Crew one. Automated assembly line. Come on, hit me. So then it's... Hit me. Breathe. Take Breathe. eight in the air. All eight coming at me? Yep. Okay. Let's go get a planes <laughs> oh, and draw. Discard a mountain. My turn? Yeah. Yeah, you can play magic again. Draw for rest. I'm gonna roll. Yeah. 
Oh, oh yes. Yes. all right. So that's two for Jason. Right? Uh, yeah, and we are going I am to, a planeswalker, baby. We're going to Riptide Island. When you planeswalk to Riptide Island, and at the beginning of your upkeep, create two one-one colorless silver creature tokens. Oh. Whenever chaos ensues, oh. slivers you control gain haste and get XX until end of turn, where X is the number of slivers you control. So I have two of them. You have two of them. I'll play the. Watchful Rad Stag. It's 2 2 evolve, and whenever it evolves, create a token copy of it. And I will be tapped out and pass the turn because slivers don't have haste. I will untap. Upkeep. I will also get two sliver tokens. Wow. I'll roll Makes once, that. why not? And we move in. Nope. We not we, we, moving. We, we not moving. Move okay. Oh, sorry. I did that out of order. You did. I only can do that during main phase at sorcery speed. Draw. I'll play Exotic Orchard as my land return. Tap for green. I'll cast Wild Growth on my forest. I will. Throw one mana to Sun Scorch Divide to get two. I will equip the Pip Boy to my Goblin that can't block. I can loot, so I'll draw a card or discard a card, or I can put a one one counter on it, or I can untap up to two target lands. Tap that for a green and a green. And I will cast. Let's do the Explorer's Scope. You might as well roll the die. Yeah. Good, the wheel. Yep. Let's use that and we'll roll again. You'll if your cards have too much radiation or you need some money for some stim packs, consider selling to Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best place to sell your cards online. The service is easy to use and they give you a great price for your cards, especially when you compare to other buy lists. Make sure to use our code Kingdoms TV at checkout for reduced fees and you'll support us here at Kingdoms. Also, if you're enjoying Ultimate Commander or any of our other shows, consider subscribing, smash the like button, and check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. We got a lot going on over there, and I think it would be great to have you as part of our community. Thanks, guys. Treasure in a bath is called. Cool. Yeah! Oh. All rolling. right, we are going to Gold Meadow. Whenever a land enters a battlefield, that land's controller creates three zero one white goat creature tokens. <laughs> Whenever chaos ensues, Create a zero one white goat creature token. Okay, I'll move to combat. Jay's open. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and he's I got have the stuff. The monarch and the undercity. Let's go there. I will move to attack Jay with this one, but I got two attack triggers. So attack trigger for the Pip Boy. I will untap to target lands. This is so good. This one and uh, this one. And then I'll look at the top card of my library. If it's a land, I can put it on the battlefield tapped. So I'll get Monarch and Undercity. Undercity. I'll move to the Lost Well, Should and I'll two? scry two. I'll put one on it's top. It's going to be hard to get through that, not going to mm -hmm. lie. No, I'll put both on the bottom. Board. So, so I'm going to try and make some goats, and then I'm going to try and exactly. <laughs> yeah, make some goats first. <laughs> make, yeah. make them, sack them, you know. Boil them, mash them, stick them in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, goats do. <laughs> that is, yeah, fallout. That, that is just, This is a thing. It's probably better than most Fallout meals. Post-combat main, I will put one green into this one. So I have a green, a red, and a white. I will cast Dog Meat, Ever Loyal. <laughs> when ETBs, I mill five cards. Yay. Dang. And then I return Ooh. an aura or equipment card from my graveyard to my hand. Three, four, four five. That looks like an artifact. Bloodforge Battle Axe. I'll move to end step, and I will draw for Monarch and pass. Untap. You'd gain one. <laughs> you know. Oh, that was the best draw I could have drawn, chat. And you'll see what it was after these messages. <laughs> Kay. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Overseer of the Vault, 7 6. Uh, when it or another creature with power 3 or less enters the battlefield under your control, Ew. put a quest counter on Overseer of the Vault. At the beginning of combat on your turn, you may remove three quest counters from a, from permanents you control. When you do, put a 1 1 counter on each creature you control, and they gain vigilance until end of turn. And then the best, the best draw I could have hit my deck Evolving Wilds. Trigger and get three goats. Oh man. Which gives me four quest counters on that. And then I could crack and get more. Yeah. Yes. Hurry up. Yeah, in response. The tyrant. So you still have three wait, are you gonna wait till he gets his six goats then and then do it? Right? Yeah. Okay. My six goats are dead, my gobo is dead. And then I lose my slivers. Does that say all creatures? All creatures. Creatures of opponent's control. Ah. Yeah. And I draw two. So I also <laughs> have Not my I also gain seven life because of in the thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to combat. I will remove three counters, go into four. So they also gain vigilance. John, yeah, Craig's not gonna die by your dog. 
Oh, come so on. I'll have Craig attack, and then I'll have the impersonator attack. That's a 1-1? One, one. So you've, you've got a 1-1 one, one and a 0-1. Zero, one. One, one. Okay, so, and then I can attack you. Why would you want to attack? I'm not the monarch. You're, you're right, but, like, attacking, like, everyone doesn't seem great. So, now that I'm attacking the two, uh, Craig is going to trigger. I'm going to punch your dog. I'll redirect that to myself. You're going to kick his dog? Yes. Okay, so that will be three damage to you. My soldier is going to valiantly chump. There you go. You get to draw, I draw three right, cards yeah. this turn. Three. And then so equal to the number of quest counters, counters on it. Oh, sorry, two. Sorry, two. Sorry, take two. Excuse me, yeah. two. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll hit you for three, and then I will take the Monarch. And Undercity. And the Undercity. I think I'll go ahead and put the two counters on this guy. Hey, guys, I think there's an arch enemy. Sure. Not yet. We're going we're gonna to roll. You already gained life. And... Oh, we're going to move. Yay, no more ghosts. All right, now we're going to Horizon oh, Burrows. All perm is untapped during each other's player's untapped step. <laughs> Walk a lot. What? Aye. Whenever you roll chaos, you may search your library for up to three basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle your library. I will draw for being the monarch and untap. Okay, treasure vaults, mystic forge. I'm gonna look at this. I kept it great. We'll just cast Thirst for Knowledge. Uh, a blend of 17 fruits, fruit flavors, cola, and a weaponized isotope byproduct that barely passed safely, safe, <laughs> uh, safety approval. We'll go to combat. I have reach. It he does have reach somewhere. He has one reach creature. Craig Life. has reach? Yeah. You have I, to sacrifice the gobbo at the beginning of your upkeep, right? Oh, yeah. I'll take six. What? Because then I can just make them bigger and bigger and bigger. Scry two, and then I'll pass the turn. Sweet. Wait, wait. So I need to I need to ping someone. We'll ping you because it's your turn. All right. Boop. So okay. let's untap. Draw. I'm gonna plane walk. Damn. <laughs> um. Play an opulent palace. Hey, your fourth man. And play Raul, the troubleshooter. So when he enters the battlefield, I'll get the evolved trigger off of the rad stag. Yeah, he's 1-4. Oh, I can cast spells from that have been milled into my graveyard this turn one time. Tap, each player mills one card. Yep, Zombie Mutant Rogue. So I will pass the turn. I will ping you since it's your turn. You're a monster. I am. I, I will play Mountain for turn. Yeah, I'm going to discard Radstorm. 2-4, we'll equip the Pip-Boy and the Basilisk Color. Not so nice. Okay, I'll move to combat. Why not? Who are you attacking? With the dog. Attack triggers will go on stack first. Jordan. Uh, why me? Why him? For fun. He doesn't have the things. I know. But things. I don't want to potentially lose my commander. You Pasha. will still potentially lose your commander. And I he's, attack next time and I he's just target your dog. I declare no blocks. I will use my guy's ability and I will give my dog 6-6. Six, six. So that's 9 commander damage. I will gain 9 life. Uh, attack trigger on this one. And then I get a junk token. It's the new Coca Cola bottle, which sounds really good right now, by the way. Past turn. So I should have just one. brought a bunch of milk right, and coke on the way here, you know? Draw. Yeah, everyone on top. I will roll the dice first. Nothing. Let's I'll see. roll again. I, like, I needed to untap. I can't draw that much hate and then be like, oh, by the way, I'm open. Gonna try it again. Uh, tap. I will play the Butch Delora. Menace. Whenever it attacks, I get a 1-1 one, one counter until end of turn for each other rogue and or snake you control. And I pay one in a black. I'll gain a life and stuff. Okay, let's go to combat. Uh, you, what are, How big is all your stuff? You have a 3-3 three, three over there? Me? Yeah. You have I have a 1-4, a 3-3, three, three, and a two, 2-2. Two. Are you going to block if I attack you with a 4-4? Four, four? Probably not. <coughs> okay, I'll attack you with a 4-4. Four, four. What does the 4-4 four, four do on it? Nothing. Hit? Okay, great. Hit me in the face. Kill and me. then I will attack Craig at you. <laughs> and that will now trigger this and give me 4. I will do four damage to your doggo. So, and then I will gain four, and then I have a seven seven coming at you. Okay. I'm gonna goad him. He's goaded. Yeah. I will go to my instep and draw and pass the turn. Who has removal? Like, hey, evolving wild. Don't want to play my commander. That's a that. static ability? You can give all your other creatures menace. Yeah, just throwing that out there. Hey, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. You could do that. Yeah. You know, before you, you, you get chaos. Chaos. Nice. Three basics tap. Oh, man. Well, let's just do this. T. 
45 of power armor. <laughs> creates two energy. Clip creatures plus three plus three doesn't untap or controls and taps that. Except for, yeah. Except for now. <laughs> and epic your upkeep pain energy if you do untap it. Then put your choice of menace, trample, or lifelink counter on it. Play arcade cannon. Okay, at the end of your turn, I'll put a quest counter on him and, or a menace counter on these two. Let's untap. Yay. Play a Woodland Cemetery, and then attempt to cast my commander. I should have done this with him, actually. When I cast an insect or a mutant, Mothman. We I get, get to scry one. We'll keep that. Um, I do get a trigger. Uh, evolution. When there's a battlefield or attacks, each player gets a rad counter. Yeah. Let's, let's mill a card. Everyone mill. I milled the land. Milling. Land. Non-land. So we have two non-land cards that I got milled. And then I put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Rex and number of non-land cards milled this way. And so I'll put one on him and one on Radstag Prime. Pass the turn. I will put a Menace counter on this guy. And then I will ping you because it's your turn for three. For one. I'm going to pay five and flash it. Thank you. Sentry bot. Sweet. Oh wait, I could have I could have spun the wheel. Yeah, go for it. You said pass the turn, but you know. Oh, not enough has happened. That's fine. Nothing. <gasps> oh. So beginning of pre-combat main, I will mill a card. Did you already draw? Beginning of pre-combat main. You, you draw first. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Main phase is totally before draw. Psych. So now I will do, I will mill a card. Non-land card, non-land card. So you and lose, lose a life and non -land, a rad You counter. lose a life and a round counter, and then so I get my trigger. I'll put one on him. My land for turn will be Rootbound Crag. I will pay three for Fire Shrieker. Can I respond to that? Cast. Yes, you can. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. What's that? Counter <gasps> target, target spell, you get an, another... You get energy, energy equal to its mana value. Ooh. Oh. Let but me sack my junk stuff. stuff. I'll exile the top card of my library and I can cast it this turn. Break down. Okay, so this is an exile and I can cast He's it this turn. Really one into the divide to get one of each. I will cast Mantle of the Ancients. Now that that's relevantly on the stack. Enchant creature I control. When it enters, I return any number of aura or equipment cards that could be attached the, to the creature from my graveyard to the battlefield attached to it. And then it gets one one for each aura and equipment attached to it. Pay and create some robots. Okay. That does resolve. Holy schmoly. Okay. So I'll just... Oh my god. <laughs> he also has base power and toughness 910 and he's indestructible. <laughs> he has... Um, Menace, and whenever he deals combat Ooh. damage to a player, uh, I create a treasure. Ooh. And when he dies, I draw a card. Oh, oh my god. He has 2-2, two, two, and he's goaded. So 9-10 plus 3-6-7. So... Plus 2? Plus 2. 9-9 nine, nine on top of that. So yeah, 18 double strike. So I have to move to combat now. <laughs> so, yeah. I will move him. Oh I will attack Jason. You can literally kill anybody. Except Jordan. Except Jordan. <laughs> you can't attack Jordan. So you're going this, you're, you're going to combat. <laughs> I felt like I was I, The goat like, returns. <laughs> Man. I saved you. I love goat so much. Okay. In response, I'm going to tap Raul. Cool. Everyone mill? Everyone mill. I mill a land. I mill the land. Come I on. I an enchantment saga. Oh, is that soul ring? A soul ring. <laughs> but no, I get his trigger, so I'm going to put one on this creature, and then I'll put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. Okay, do, do your attack triggers. Okay, so I'll untap two land. Go figure. I'm going to cast Inspiring Call. Draw a card for each creature I control with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Dude, and nice. those creatures gain indestructible until end of turn. Nice. It's a big, it's and a big then deal. I'll put the two Radstack copies in front of him. Cool. And they're indestructible. Actually, yep. what's what's his entire toughness at this point? <laughs> Let's just so, see if it would matter. I don't think I can two, kill him. Four, six, seven. He has indestructible as well, so. Oh, and he can also give it plus three, plus three. Yeah. You're sick. <laughs> but since I'm hitting a wall, I don't feel guilty about doing that. Yeah, so I'll give it three more. So it's ten, so twelve. So I'll gain twenty-four life. Jeez. <laughs> okay. Great play, Jason. Very good. I don't feel guilty anymore. Pastor. <laughs> End of your turn. No, 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 no. Sorry, so sorry. I am going to roll. I could get I mean, chaos. Who knows? Yeah. No. Nope. Okay. Now I will pass. I will ping Jason for what? What? <laughs> yes. Why? Just because it's funny. Untap. Untap. M Monarch triggers. I will go to draw a card. Oh, from, sorry. You get two rad counters. From the Monarch. I do? Yeah. Yay. Okay. Go to draw step. Cool. Now I will go to the rad. And I will mill a non-land, Elder Author Maxon. I'll put a plus one, plus one counter on 
Zimoff. Sure, 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 sure. All right. Has there been two games released since then? Vegas and what was it, 76? Vegas was between three and four. Vegas came out before four. So yeah, I yeah. cast a soul ring. Three, Mr. Yeah. Howe's president and CEO. Whenever you roll a four or higher, create a three, three colors robot artifact creature token. If you rolled six or higher, instead create that token and a treasure token. Pay four tap, roll a six-sided dice, plus an additional six-sided dice for each mana from a treasure spent to activate this ability. That will get a thing, I will gain a life. Sorry, play mistake. I need a junk token because of dog yeah. meat's ability. How big is, so is he permanently like indestructible? Uh -huh. Yeah. Junk I will remove ability. the last three um, quests, put a counter on everything I have here. Um, I will go to combat. All my stuff has vigilance and menace. Very good. Yeah, good. coming at you. 23 damage coming at you. And they're all menace, right? They're, yep, all menace. they're all menace, so I can't block it. So you can't block it. And then I get a trigger on Craig. So that will go up to six, and I get to do six damage to something. How big is Mothman? Uh, right now he's a 6-6. Six, six. Okay, yeah. I will throw the six at him. I'll activate Raul. I mill a land. I mill the land. Thank I you. I mill land. land. Oh, you got it on land. Yay. Okay, I'll gain six. One. Oh, give Mothman the counter so he doesn't oh. die. Okay. And I will take 23. Yeah, I'll play Windbrisk Bri Heights. Hideaway. Hideaway four. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I'll tap Solar Ring. <laughs> One more time. Oh. Here it is. Dang oh. it. That will be my turn. I will. Oh, wait, I didn't gain the life from this guy. I need to gain another eight. The end of your turn, I'm going to sacrifice the Blowing Wilds. Okay, I'll draw for being the Monarch. Okay, so untap. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Measure twice, cut once, and then 30,000 times after. Cast uh, Pan Harmonicron. What? Pay four for Mother Lord Excavator. Enters the battlefield, choose target opponent. You get the amount of energy equal to the number of non basic lands target player controls. Ah, I yeah, four. I'm a solid. He has more. I have five. I have one. So ten. It'll, I'll get 10 energy. Yeah. You get a total oh, of 10? Nice. Yeah. Oh, good Pan Harmonicron. Yeah. Oh, oh. Whenever see. Mother Lord attacks, you may pay four energy. When you do, destroy target non-basic land defending player controls, and creatures that player control without flying can't block this turn. <laughs> uh, we'll just like a, cast like a, like expert level pile? safe. When expert level safe enters the battlefield, exile the top two cards of your library face down. You may pay one, tap, and you and target opponent each secretly choose one, two, or three. <laughs> then those choices are revealed. If they match, sacrifice expert level safe and put all exiled cards into the owner's hand. Otherwise, exile Exile the top card of, the li of your library face down. Yeah, let's just safe. So you pick an opponent. Okay, Jordan. And then, so I mean, do you so. want to randomly pick a number from one, two, three, or do you want to play block, paper, scissors? Well, he knows what the numbers are. Right, well, he I picks know what a number, are. you pick a number. We just, we just, we just throw, we just throw a one, two, or three. Okay, so we're just rock, paper, scissors. It's just rock, paper, scissors, so rock, one, two, paper, three. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One, two, three. Dang it! <laughs> wow! <laughs> So he gets both of those to his hands. Oh. I think he wanted to exile the top card of his library. Prairie Stream. Sorry, I Prairie Stream, interest <laughs> tapped. That's a land. We'll just roll. We don't need no goats. Ooh. Is that okay. a planeswalk? No. no. So tap. It's divided in threes. Draw a card, discard a card. Yeah. And put a quest counter on Arcade Cannon. Oh, so let's see. Energy for this, energy for this. Don't miss those triggers. At the beginning of combat, I can go to my combat step, and at the beginning of combat, if I do, I can pay three energy and put oh. a 1 1 counter on each creature I control. <laughs> do it! Yeah, so I don't want to move from this plane. So, yeah. I, uh, Are you done? Before the end of your turn, I'm going to activate Raul. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to ping you for two. I'm doing my part! <laughs> Land. <laughs> Land. 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 Shit. Dang it, first strike, yes. right? At the beginning of combat on your turn, if Two you attack the turn, create a junk token for each opponent you attacked. So I'm gonna put Mothman and Raul. Each get a counter. Untap, draw. I'm gonna tap him and put a quest counter on him. Very good. Yeah. Mill that many cards, so three. Potato, Farmer, Terramorphic Expanse, and an Island, so one non land card. Oil and mash. So I had one non-land, so mm -hmm. I lose a life and remove a rad counter. I'll play a oh, yeah, Drand right. Catacombs. It's just oh, I did, I did, I did do my rad mill. Go and do it now. Do it now. Just do it now. Land. Land. Okay, we're yep. good. You're good. I'll play a Corpse Jack Menace Ooh. and a Cathedral Acolyte. Each creature control with a counter on it has Ward One, and then Dang. I can tap it and put a plus one plus one counter on a target creature at the end of the battlefield this turn. Nice. Let's roll. The plane? Oh. oh, so close. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Corpse Jack Menace does trigger stags. And then let's activate Raul. 
Everybody mill one. Aw, so land. He, here's the card, nuclear fallout. Oh, Battle sad. of Hoover Dam. That's cool. That's oh. cool. Yeah. Artifact. So three non-lands. I'm going to go at John because you attacked last turn. <laughs> I cannot block. Yeah, I'm oh, okay. On attack, each player gets a rag counter. And I'll discard an Ash Barons and Wait. a Harm. Oh, okay. no. I got, I, got to, I got to ping him for two, two. to yeah. keep doing my part. And I'm going to go ahead and just cycle an Ash Barons because I don't so need that. Each player gets X rad counters, and then each creature gets minus X minus, or double minus X minus X. Whoa. Um, and then I'll discard an Ash Barons and Harmonize to hand for turn, so I have my six cards. And I'll pass. At the end of your turn, I'm just going to pay five and draw a card. That seems cool. nice. Uh, I'll move to my turn. I have untapped everything. Look at me go. I will draw pre-combat main. I will mill a card for my radiation. It is a land. Um, I will use my junk token. I will tap and sacrifice that to exile the top card, which I can cast this turn. Rogue's Passage. Um, let's see if I can roll. We'll roll, man. He's going to hit Naya. Oh, yeah. Nope. We'll do it again. Just getting ready. ka -choosh. Nope. Oh, do, do it, it again. Yes. <laughs> we'll do it with this hand. See if that changes anything. Kiai. Nope. Combat. Moving. It's okay. This will be a land. I'll That's attack okay. and I'll go for Jordan. <laughs> attack triggers are on Jishtak. I'll untap How this How come the land combat oriented decks are the ones taking the longest crazy It turn. doesn't have what menace, does it? It does have menace. It does have menace. I'm also going to make it unblockable. I have nothing but lands in hand. I can't do anything. Um, wait, 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 wait. Before damage, I have, I'm gonna, uh, everyone mill. Oh, okay. Uh, I milled non-land. Was it a non-land? It was. I got a non-land. What, what do we in response, I'm gonna, in response, I'm gonna pay five and draw a card. Oh, he wants oh. it. <laughs> oh, it was your James dad. James Wandering Dad. So that means I get four things, each get two counters. One, two. Use the junk one more time. Exile. I can cast it. Abundant growth? So if he didn't kill me, I'd been able to play that and make him sacrifice his dog. Ooh. And it would come in with three counters. <coughs> indestructible hexproof. That's I'll cool. Put, I'll put yeah. abundant growth on I my exotic really good, orchard. Would have to... oh. ETB, I'll draw. Tap for two. I'll use a treasure. So I have three. I will cast the Crimson Caravaneer. I'll use the other treasure. I will cast Blood Forge Battle Axe. And I apologize because I forgot to get life from the lifelink. So I would gain 36 life. That's yes. fine. Undercity, I'll move and I'll just create a treasure. So that comes back and then I will pass turn. Rad damage, land. So we'll cast Vault 13, mm -hmm. which is an enchantment saga. For each player, exile up to one other target enchantment or creature. That player controls until Vault 13 leaves the battlefield. So I'm going to choose dog meat. wonder what he's going to pick. <laughs> I don't think this is a surprise. And then we're going to get rid of Mothman. Sure. Oh, I didn't draw for Monarch. I'm sorry. He, yep. do, he does have okay. Ward. So you have to pay one. I'll activate Raul. So we all mill. Oh, non-land. Arcane Signet, non-land. Non -land. Three non-land, so I get three things, and then he goes to the command zone. So I'll exile Mother Load Engine. Let's see, I think I'm gonna cast Nuka-Cola for back. free. Recast her. I'm gonna pay 15, create five <laughs> Tellerless, <laughs> and then get five energy back. John, what blockers do you have? Just the one just creature? Just the one, with the ability to pump. Well, I'm just gonna travel. swing oh, wait, two, yeah, three threes at you. A six, like six, six, six in damage coming at you. Okay. To create two energy. I will not block. And I'll just roll. <gasps> oh, snap! Yeah. Oh my it, gosh, he got it again! It. That's the second time! Pass the turn. Okay, yeah, it's on tap. Okay. Wait, did you save your Mothman? Draw, no. Um, we have Rad Trigger, so I get, I get to mill three. And we have oh, Ancient Agent Frank Horrigan and two lands. And play Forest for turn. Those are yours. And he gets to move down in the dungeon. So many missed triggers. So draw my card, go the card Jack Menace. Well, I'm gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, and cast Finality. I may put two plus one plus one counters on a creature I control. Then all creatures get minus four, minus four until the turn. I'm going to put my uh, two counters on this rad stag, which will convert to three counters uh, because, or excuse me, it's doubled because of Corpse Jack. So it's, I'll put four counters on him. I will respond. I'm going to boost this guy. Yeah. That's right. I'll give it nine, nine just <coughs> in case. Turn to nature, baby. Woohoo. I, I, I did that instead of casting Agent Frank. Um, all my things get minus, minus four, minus four. Two of my stags die. And so I have to draw two cards. Or the, did those live through it? So the... This would die... I guess two five ability right? before. He's 
this is a two five, so he would be a oh, he would be a zero one, and he would be a five six. I'll attack you with my Radstag Prime. Yeah, and then the Cathedral Acolyte will also go at you, Jay. This Which one's makes going it at you. I'll block it with the Doctor. If I block that, does it live? So so my, mine's <laughs> mine's a 4-4. Four, four. So I would die, you would not. I will. Whether or not you want me to have Corpse Jack Menace is really the question. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll block it. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. Not bloody <laughs> likely. <laughs> so I have two death cool. triggers, and mm-hmm. then I have the, where's my crown? Draw two. I don't really know what else. I'm gonna goad that. <laughs> Criminy. <laughs> um, and then everyone's goading your stuff. We'll go to end step, and I'll discard a Nuka Nuka launcher, Guardian project, and fetid pools. You have to draw a card for being the monarch. Oh, I get a draw a card for being the monarch. And then queen up. And I'll discard a temple of the seat. Did you roll the dice? Yeah. Let me let me roll. <laughs> Way! Yay! We got chaos. Um, I'm gonna tap. Nope. Oh. Go ahead. I will untap. Everyone else, join me. Join me. Okay, we are here. I will draw uh, radiation trigger. I have one mill ca- rad counter, so I will mill one card. That is a non-land card. I will lose the rad counter and lose a life. Oh, sorry. I have to discard real fast. And then my draw for Monarch. Okay, I will play Mountain for turn. We'll tap two. Uh, I will equip the Blood Forge Battle Axe. So I'll give my Caravaneer to zero. I'll get one in a white. I will cast all the glitters on Caravan here. So it gets a 1-1 one, one for each artifact and enchantment I control. Yeah, this goad thing's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> I will give him death touch and lifelink. And then I'll put the pip boy on it as well. Combat, goaded, has to go at J. Death. Attack trigger. I will untap this land because I like this land. And then okay. we'll do this one. I'll do you block. 2-5. So that will actually... If you don't pump him, then... I- I don't die. Correct. I'll do the thing. Okay. Three extra. Uh, 10, 13. Do you have any five. enchantments on your lands? No, you gained the five. Oh, that's right. So 26. Oh, yeah, I do. I have this one and this one. 12, so that's 24 damage total, so I gained 48 life. Pass turn. Um, my turn, so we have Undercity Trigger. Draw a card. And now draw for turn. Untap. Yep, Rad, rad Trigger. Mill two. Land, non-land, play command towers, land for turn. If I had only not removed Mothman, John would be dead. Oh yeah, I got my Mothman back when you died. So I got Mothman trigger, which is only one plus one plus one counter on something. Put it on Mothman. So as he comes in, I mill five cards. Yeah, yeah. And then I return an aura or equipment card from my graveyard to my hand. Four non-land, yep. I'm going to pull Mantle of the Ancients back to my hand. You're gross. I'm gonna flip the plan, do it. Get that basic land. Do it again. Ooh, get in that land. I'm gonna roll blindly. I'm not gonna have enough mana. I don't. Th- I think I'm just dead though, right? My plan is to attack you. Yeah. And I'll do it again, and again. Holy cow! Yes. Oh! Hey. I love Asuva. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under its <coughs> control, create a copy. Chaos. Destroy target creature and all other creatures with the same name as that creature. Uh, go to end step. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't forget to draw. Oh, my bad. Feral duel. Go ahead. Uh, untap. Raw for turn. Radiation trigger. Mill. I don't lose a life. I'll play Mountain for turn. I'll cast Mantle of the Ancients on the Crimson Caravaneer. And then I'm going to put all this in the pool just to make it so he can't be blocked this turn. The the question is, whoever wants to watch this and calculate how much damage is going through, then we'll leave it to you. But I'm just going to show all these out and then attack Jason. Darn, Did the thing. Darn, yeah, darn, have my darn, there you go. Yay. 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 Huzzah. Thanks so much for watching today's episode. If you made it this far, consider becoming a member of the kingdom. You can do that by joining us on Patreon by becoming a member here on YouTube or subscribing on Twitch. You get access to our private Discord, special game nights, and a bunch more. I hope you consider joining us in the kingdom. War. War never changes. Secret giveaways never change either. Many of you already know I'm giving away all four of the Fallout Commander decks this month, sponsored by me to you. The first deck was announced in the help video last week. The second deck will be given to one lucky commenter on this video. The third deck will be given to one of our patrons via our private discord. And the fourth deck will be given away soon. So keep a lookout.
And overall, thanks for watching.